We now have our lights configured to look somewhat realistic when we render them. However, the lighting itself is somewhat flat and not very interesting. In this lesson, we're going to look at the lighting presets that will allow us to create lights that work in a much more realistic manner. If you're working through these lessons, continue on. You don't need to change a thing. Otherwise, open the file Chapter 5 Exterior Streetlight 03.max. If the light lister isn't already open, go to the Tools menu. From the drop down menu, click the Light Lister option. Make sure you have the photometric light selected. Also, make sure you scroll the time slider so that you're rendering frame 59. When we look at our scene currently, we see a well lit street with several street lights, and they're illuminating both the street and the houses. One thing you'll notice, however, is that the distribution of that light is perfectly even and doesn't look the way you would think a real street light would look. Most street lights don't cast in a perfectly even distribution. They generally distribute light in a specific pattern that's based on the shape of the light fixture itself. Think about this. Take a light bulb and you put it in a lamp. Take the lampshade off of it. The light coming off of that is distributed pretty evenly around the room. Now take a flashlight you buy from the store and shine it on the wall. What you'll notice is that the flashlight has a pattern that's projected onto the wall as a result of the housing that the light bulb is in. This is called the distribution of the light and is one of the advantages of using photometric lights. In the Modify panel, navigate to the General Parameters rollout and look at the Light Distribution area. You'll see a drop-down. Our currently selected light distribution type is called Uniform Spherical. You're probably wondering, what does that mean? That means that the light is distributed in a perfect sphere and emits the same value from every point along that sphere out into space. If you use this type of light, there's no variation in distribution and has a slightly less photorealistic look to it. Built into the photometric lights within 3ds Max is the ability to use templates to change the light from one type to another. If we scroll the Modify Panel window to the very top, in the Templates rollout, you'll see a Select the Template drop-down. Let's go ahead and click the drop-down. We're going to choose a template for this light in order to make it look a little bit more photorealistic. We're going to use a template with what is called a photometric web. Using the photometric web option assigns the distribution of the light to a file known as an IES data file. This file is a text file that defines the distribution pattern of the light from its source. This allows you to simulate very specific light fixture distribution patterns. And many light manufacturers provide this data for the light fixtures that they sell. So if you want to simulate this street light, for instance, you'd use an IES data file that simulates the way the light is distributed from the fixture in this particular street light. From the selected template drop-down list, let's use the street 400 watt lamp. Click on the Street 400W lamp from the drop-down list. You'll notice that next to the description it says Web in parentheses. This lets us know that it's using a photometric web file to define the light distribution pattern for this particular fixture. You'll also notice that in the camera viewport, the shape of the lights change to match the pattern of the photometric web. If we scroll the Modify panel up a little bit so we get to the distribution rollout, You'll see in the distribution rollout the pattern that the IES data file is generating for this light. Make sure the camera view is selected. Go to the main toolbar and click the render button. If we look at the scene now, you'll notice that our lights have a much different distribution pattern. The lighting is not evenly distributed and now pools into bright areas just beneath the light and darker areas between the lights. So we've taken a photometric light with a uniform spherical distribution pattern and turned it into a photometric light that uses a photometric web for its distribution that simulates a specific light fixture. However, there's one thing missing from this rendering. Notice that wherever we have a shadow, if it's not filled in by another light, it's completely black. The reason for this is we're only rendering direct light at this time. 
Go ahead and press Control-S to save the scene.